Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sitting down bareface so we can film a testing new makeup video. I have a few new products to try out and some oldies to incorporate into this video. So if you like this style of video, then just keep watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I try to post about three to four times a week, so highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, today I'm excited. This is a series I've kind of thrown in a few times at the end of last year, but I kind of want to turn this into a thing, so... Basically, if I have some new makeup that's not like super new or some things I want to try out for the second, third time, I thought it would be fun to create videos like this. So I've already posted one up with some new and some old makeup. This is going to be part two and I'm going to continue it on as a series. So hopefully you guys like this type of video. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. So I bought a bunch of stuff over the holidays and I want to test it out. The first thing is this NYX foundation. So this is the NYX Bear With Me Blur Skin Tint Foundation and I got the shade Medium Neutral. It looks a little orange in the tube but we'll see and I'm really excited because a lot of you have been telling me that you really have been enjoying this one. I really like the size of this as well so yeah, let's go ahead and try it out. I haven't tried it yet. As you saw, I just broke the seal. So I'm using my little sponge <laughs> soaker to get my sponge wet. This gadget is so handy and I can like wring my sponge out. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I showed it in another video. I'll link everything I'm putting on my face today down in the description box for you guys so you guys can follow along in case you're interested. have the OC moisturizer they sent me i'll link that down below too but i'm really excited to try this i love the size i usually do my foundation first and then my eyeshadow back in the day i used to do my eyeshadow first but i didn't like filming for youtube completely bare face but i mean it just depends on what i'm doing for the day but i've kind of completely changed my routine where i will do my foundation first and then I'll come on camera and test out eyeshadow palettes but it just depends like today I don't mind coming on camera and doing my intro without any makeup on because I'm going to be putting makeup on in the video so this actually looks like a decent match it does look a little bit peachy but it's not as bad as I thought so <laughs> that's kind of nice but how is everybody's start to the new year I would love to hear some resolutions in the comments if you guys made any. One of my big ones, this is so dumb, but one of my big ones is to use up all my sheet masks. I have like a tote and I used to keep it in my bathroom upstairs, but the little cupboard under our bathroom sink was getting so full. And so I moved it down here. So then I kind of like stopped using my sheet masks. But the other day I just grabbed a few and bought them upstairs so I think that's kind of going to be my plan is to try and bring a few upstairs and I really want to like declutter I just have so much skincare that I feel bad to get rid of but I'm like let me just see if I can find people that want to try the skincare just want to like get it out of here and so luckily I have a friend who's an esthetician and I figured I'd ask her if she wanted some just to test out obviously I don't expect her to like use this stuff on people because some of it I have tried some of it's brand new but I don't know she's a skincare enthusiast so I figured she might be really into trying free skincare like what else am I gonna do with it this does look really nice it definitely has a little bit of radiance to it. It's a little, I can see the blur. And yeah, it just has like a soft matte look to it. Let me see if there's more information I can share about this. So it looks like there's about 24 shades. 
Vegan, cruelty-free, medium coverage, blurring foundation formulated with skin-loving ingredients. We like that. It says it's an effortless, no filter needed foundation. It's flawless, smooth matte blur finish that never looks cakey or ashy. I definitely feel like that's true. 12 hours of hydration, 16 hours of wear. Well, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm really excited. I always struggle with NYX because I feel like the undertones I struggle with, but... I do remain hopeful. Now I'm going to show you guys the magic that is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I've been using this in my Shop My Stash. I'm going to start filming Shop My Stash videos again this year. I kind of took a break from it at the end of last year just because I couldn't keep up with the schedule. But I was still doing it like for myself. And I just have been loving this concealer and I've been trying to mention it. I mentioned it in like my haul videos and stuff. and. I did see one of you commented saying that you really like this concealer too. I was just like really shook by how this blends like so effortless and it just really perfects my under eye which is so nice because I'm not super self-conscious when it comes to a lot of things on my body or my face or things like that but my under eyes I feel like definitely could use help so I just think this concealer is top notch and I have the shade Dune which I'm really liking as well so I just want to try and mention the shades I'm using as well because I know with tan skin sometimes it's so hard to like decide what shade to get so yeah that is like a concealer I'm really loving so it's not really the newest product out there but it's probably the first time you guys are actually seeing me use it on my channel so Skin looks good. I like how it looks. I have some powders I want to try and show you guys as well, but let's go ahead and put on some bronzer while I'm letting the foundation set. And I do have one that I haven't tried yet. This is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Bronzer. So again, it's like not the newest product out there, but I have never tried an e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I have the blushes, but I haven't tried the putty bronzer, so I'm excited. And I got it in the shade, this is called Seaside Shimmer. Let's see, I kind of winged it online. So that's the shade, should work. I'm gonna use this old Tarte brush that I love to use for my cream bronzer and I'm just gonna be daring and go straight into it. And I like to kind of like press in my cream products I try not to like swipe so as to not like move my foundation around this is a little bit of a slower process than swiping but I think it gives it such a like flawless look when you kind of just press it in this is like just the right amount of bronzing I feel like it's not like overly bronzy looking I'm just gonna push that in and then I just like to put a little bit on the jawline as well. Here I don't mind swiping because I don't really put a lot of foundation on my jawline. This shade is like very close to my skin tone which is kind of how I prefer my bronzers these days. Um, but yeah, you can See, it has a nice dewy touch there. So, so far so good. I kind of want to throw on a powder bronzer too. And the other day I was using, I used this in my Testing New Makeup Part 1. So, I'm just going to throw on a little bit just to kind of, not like set it, but yeah, kind of to set it a little. And give it a little bit more color as well. I'll link this one down below too. And the shade I have is top down, and I think it's a good shade for me. Gives a little bit of a sun-kissed look. I haven't seen the sun in months. It's been so snowy, but it looks like I have a tan, I feel like, when I use that. So I do have the new Juvia's Place blushes. I did use one of these in a testing new makeup, but I haven't used some of the other shades, so I figured I could use those, but I'm going to match it to my eyeshadow look so we'll see and then I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes and I've been really enjoying this Huda Beauty 
Um, this is the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Cherry Blossom. This one is always out of stock and I can see why. <laughs> it's kind of hyped online a little bit, but I just really like to put this on my under eyes and I think it like brightens and it's just a really nice setting powder. I feel like I've really been enjoying it. I've been using it in my Shop My Stash. So I bought all my Shop My Stash makeup products downstairs and so I'm incorporating those into this testing new makeup video too but I'm gonna film a Shop My Stash video hopefully as well because I really really want to show you guys what products I've been using and loving the past couple of weeks. Actually almost like the past month. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera because I kind of do them the same way every time so I want to go ahead and play with the Candy Shop palette from Juvia's Place. So I do have close-ups of this. I will go ahead and show you guys the swatches and stuff. But I had a lot of fun swatching this. The metallics definitely felt thinner than the metallics I'm used to with Juvia's Place, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. They just felt more like toppery shades. There were some more traditional metallics as well, like this blue shade and this one up here too. So yeah, I'm very excited to put this on my face because I have a very like fun spring like sweatshirt on so we're gonna play with that but I wanted to give this the best shot so I decided to go ahead and grab my white base to prime my eyelids because I want to use the bright colors and so I'm just gonna use a white base this is the NYX one I'll link it down below I got it on Ulta and yeah, I just usually will use the Sigma eyeshadow base in the shade Ignite, but I kind of want to have something white so I can have the eyeshadow really pop. So I'm just going to go ahead and stipple that on and try and let it dry a bit so that the eyeshadow has its best chance. I know some people really like paint on their white base or the eyeshadow base. Not very good at that stuff because I just do kind of like everyday makeup for me, you know. <laughs> Some people do very Instagram makeup but that's just not my style so this is how I put on my white eye base and you know what while I give it a chance to dry let me just go ahead and throw on a little bit of ABH brow powder. This is definitely like an oldie but a goodie. I'm not very good with brow pencils so I just brush my brows a little bit, take a little bit of this powder, and for the most part I just want to add like a little bit of definition to my brows. I haven't gone in and gotten them shaped in a hot while. Just haven't had the time. I finally got my nails done the day before my birthday. And now I just have I just feel like it's like appointments, like if it's not for my baby, it's for the new baby and yeah, I should film like a little update for you guys, a little pregnancy update for anyone that's curious, but let me know if you want to see that. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just putting on some Patrick Ta brow gel because I like my brows to stay put. And I think that should have given it enough time to dry down. So let's go ahead and play with the fun palette. I have so much stuff in front of me. It's just like, I'm just waiting to knock something over. So I really want to play with the pinks and the peaches. So let's see what I can come up with here. Um, need to wash some brushes too, it looks like. But anyway, I'm gonna grab this Cleona brush and I'm gonna go into this light peachy shade down here. And I'm just gonna throw that in the inner corner of the crease. I'm just gonna like blend, but I also wanna like build it up. So I'm just gonna kind of like pat it and then like lightly blend. I also bought the coffee palette and I'm gonna film something with that. And I have two other Juvia's Place palettes that launched in 2022 that I never got around to filming with. 
So I'm considering maybe doing kind of like what I did with the Martine Cosmetics palettes and doing like three looks, three palettes, kind of give you guys some reviews on the palettes that I haven't used. My Martine Cosmetics video, it didn't get a ton of views, but I'm hoping like over time people that are curious of, about the brand and if they like launch something new and people want to see how they perform, I'm hoping it'll get more views, you know, over time. Okay, so now I want to go into this pink shade. It looks like a pretty hot pink. And I'm just going to put that on the outer corner and just blend that. This palette is definitely getting me in the mood for spring, which I am 100% not mad about. And I do have that little Fula palette. I never did a video with that on YouTube. I did an Instagram reel. But honestly, that palette did not give me a good first impression. And so I don't know if I'll do like a video with it, but I guess if I'm doing three looks, three palettes, I guess I could make it a four looks, four palette video. But were you guys interested in the Fula palette? I know it's a little bit more affordable than some of these other palettes that they've done recently, but I don't know. I'm definitely more interested in these bigger palettes from Juvia's Place. So that turned out really cute, very colorful. So I have a lot of different options for a lid shade. So let's see, I'm gonna marinate on that for a second, but I think I know what blush shade I'm gonna use. <laughs> thinking ahead, thinking ahead. Okay, let's see. Um, for the lid, I need a flat brush. I'm going to use this one from Sigma. And, okay, I think I want to use a few different shades. I'm going to start off with this peachy looking color because this one is like a metallic shadow. And then I'm going to layer stuff on. So let's give it a nice little spray. Definitely a little bit of a thinner formula. I'm just bringing it like halfway onto the lid. And it's got a ton of really pretty like silvery sparkles. So I like how that's looking. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this like pinky peachy color and I'm gonna put that on the kind of outer half where the pink mat is. This one's got like blue purple sparkles in it. So it's got a bit of like a duochrome vibe. Okay, and then over both of them, I kind of want to use this first shade in the palette. It's like a really pretty pinky green kind of mermaidy shade. And so I'm just going to give it a nice spray. And I'm just going to pull that over the entire lid like that. Oh, this is such a fun look. It's just very light and spring in my opinion. So for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to do a little bit of the blue. So I'm going to use my... ColourPop in Zulu. I don't think they sell this shade anymore. Or if they do, it's probably in like a pack. This is such a fun like spearmint color. Just like brightens up any eye look, which I love for me. I'm gonna take this Odin's Eye pencil brush and we're gonna go in to this bright blue matte shadow right here. And I'm just gonna pop that in the lower lash line. I'm just gonna try my best to put it as close to the waterline as I can. So I'm just lightly running it on my lower lashes. And then for inner corner shade, I think I'm gonna use this marble shadow. It's so pretty. It's like a swirl of pink and blue. And I'm just gonna pick that up with the eye pencil brush and I'm gonna give it a little spray and I'm just gonna plop that on the inner corner oh it's such a fun color it's like a pinky blue purpley shade so oh it's making a fun little color okay simple easy fun look if you know what I mean Okay, so for blush, we have a few options. Let's see, we've got this orange could go because I used the peach on top. This one could be kind of fun and different. 
And then I have Volume 5, which is this hot coral. I think I used the hot coral the last time, so I'm not going to use that one. I want to use some of the other shades. Pink or peach? Pink or peach? I'm going to do the peach. Let's see. I'm going to actually try the lighter color. See how this builds up on my skin tone. That's pretty. It's like a creamsicle color. Mm. That's fun. So this isn't new, but it's new on my channel where I haven't used it. <laughs> Like I bought it and it sat there. I was going to use it in my video with the Vintage Garden palette from Julia's Place that I never filmed. So I figured why not pull it in for this. Because I told you guys I'm going to test some new makeup, some old makeup. I'm just going to mix it because I can't afford to buy a full face of new makeup every single time I film a testing new makeup video. So yeah, that's a pretty color and I love using... Sigma brushes like this because they're just, I don't know, it's like tapping it on with a finger almost, but it just like blends it so nicely, you know? And then for highlighter, we have a few different options. I grabbed these ones because I never used them on my channel. These are the Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. I bought all three of them. I also have the Rare Beauty Highlighters. These were in my shop by Stash. I think I used them on camera once, but I haven't used them on camera since. And I also have the Pat McGrath Holiday Highlighter that I've been using. Do you see the embossings all gone on this one? I've been using this one in my shop and stash. So I think I'm actually going to use this one because it's so beautiful and perfect. <laughs> the Rare Beauty ones are nice. I know they're getting a lot of hype. But they're really blinding. So like, you have to be like committed to that highlighter. <laughs> if you want to use it, you have to be committed to it. And then I have one of the glosses from the Candy Shop collection. I'm just going to show you guys a close-up quick so that you can see the swirl before I mess it up. How cute is this? I bought the shade Chocomilo or something. I'm going to put it on the screen. So you guys can see, but they launched like five of these. I kind of wish I'd bought this whole collection, but one of my things is to try and like do no buys in certain categories. And I really just need to not buy any more lip products. So we'll see how that goes. But I did grab my Dubious Place lip liner. I only have one of these, but it's so good. This is the shade so rare. Their lip liners are so creamy. So I'm just going to line my lips so we can try out the gloss and then we'll do mascara next. Okay, so this is the So Rare shade once I've lined my lips with it. Okay, let's go ahead and pull it out. Mm. Has a fragrance. I can't tell you exactly what it's reminding me of right at this moment. But it's definitely very glossy. It's a really nice chocolate milk color. Looks a little cool tone, but I like it so far. I like it so far. So I'm going to spray my face, throw on some mascara, and I'll be right back to give you guys some of my thoughts on the new products and some reviews on the old products that I've been trying out for a while. Okay, guys, so here is the finished look. I am wearing my hair up today because I haven't washed it in like over a week, but it's actually pretty clean. I just, I think. Today is going to be the day that I finally wash it. But anyways, these earrings are from Zara. They were on sale the last time I checked. So if I'm able to link them down below, if they're not sold out, I will link them for you. I just haven't worn these, I don't think, on camera yet. So I was like, yes, let me wear these over-the-top sparkly earrings. And I'm just like feeling the whole vibe of this situation today. So let's go ahead and break down the makeup really quick. There are some things I'm testing out for like the second time today. And one of those is this mascara. This is the Milani Highly Rated Lash Extension Tubing Mascara. I think this is an affordable mascara for tubing mascara, I will say that I was talking to one of my friends, Heather and I were talking and she was like saying how much she 
Well, I'm gonna let her talk about her experience with this mascara, but anyway, we're talking about this mascara and we were kind of joking about how like you can like count the lashes. I will say that it does an excellent job of separating lashes, but if you want it to look like you have a lot of volume, this might not be it for you. I really like how this washes off. It's like the first tubing mascara I've tried that actually comes off the way people say tubing mascaras come off. So I don't know if that's like a experience unique to me. I thought that was different because I've never felt a mascara do that before. So I don't know, kind of random, but yeah, that's the mascara I have on today. So if it looks like I only have five lashes, it is the mascara. I don't hate it, but it's definitely not like a top tier mascara for me. And then the Huda Beauty powder, I've been using a ton and I really like this. I think I'm gonna put it back in my shop, my stash because I really like setting my under eyes with this powder. And then for the Pat McGrath highlighter, I've been enjoying this one quite a bit as well. This one is like the perfect amount of highlight, but not as blinding as the Rare Beauty one. So I've been reaching for that one a ton. So I might put that back in my shop, my stash. I love the Hourglass Concealer. Like I said, it's such a go-to over the last couple of weeks. Those are some of my like reviews on some things that I've been using for a while. Now let's talk about like the first impression stuff. So let's start off with the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Bronzer. It's nice, but it's definitely not my favorite. I definitely have other cream bronzers that I really like. I will say for the drugstore, I don't know if I have a lot of affordable cream bronzers. I do love the one from ColourPop and I think these are very similarly priced. I think the ColourPop one is, is it like 15 or $10? It's definitely under $20. So there's a bit of a price gap, but not too, too much. So I do think this is okay, but it's definitely not my favorite. And then as far as the Juvia's Play stuff goes, the gloss is wearing really nicely. It's glossy. It doesn't feel like chunky and sticky, which I love because I hate a sticky gloss. So it's just really nice. It feels smooth, comfortable. It's so cute. I really, really wish I had some of the other shades. I know they're available at Ulta. I just placed another Ulta order, so it might be too soon for me to buy more things, but I could see myself maybe picking up like a red shade or something. This Juvia's Place blush in the volume six. I'm glad I tried the lighter shade. I think I tried this shade the last time I used these and it was very, very pigmented. So definitely make sure you're going in with a light hand if you have a similar skin tone to mine or that you're mixing the two so you don't end up looking like you have clown cheeks, which don't get me wrong, sometimes I like that too, but I love this vibe, it's so great. Oh, I forgot to mention to the Jaclyn bronzer. I'm really enjoying this. I like this shade a lot. It gives me like a bit of a sunburn vibe, which I kind of love. Okay, so the NYX tinted foundation, honestly, I really like it. It's very lightweight. I'm definitely gonna have to test this out more, but I think the color match worked out perfectly. And overall, I'm very, very happy with this. I'll definitely keep you guys posted in the comments or in the description box on how long wearing this was because I think I read that it was like 16 hours of wear. So I'll be curious to see that. I'll keep you guys posted. And yeah, it feels really nice. It looks nice. I think this is a good shade for me. And I love the price point. So overall, it's making me very happy. And then last, let's go ahead and talk about the Candy Shop palette. I think this is cute. I think this is fun. Um, I'm trying to think of if I have another palette with this color story. Uh, um, even in the Juvia's Place lineup, I know they have a lot of their six pan palettes that have like some pinks and like blues, but I don't know if they have one together. So yeah, I like this palette. I'm glad I picked it up. I like the formula. It definitely could use like another dark matte just to help kind of with depth but I kind of knew that I wanted to do something a little bit light a little more spring a little whimsical so I think I was able to achieve that and I think the topper shades are really really pretty so I can't wait to play with this some more but yeah those are kind of all of my thoughts on the new products I tried like I said I will link everything 
down below in case you missed what I was using for whatever purpose. So I'll try and link everything down below for you guys. And let me know, would you like to see a three looks with the three other Juvia's Place palettes I have? So I have the Culture palette, the Vintage Garden, I think is what the pastel one was called. And then I have this one, which is the Coffee palette, which isn't like super, super old, but it's definitely like one of their neutral palettes. So I wanted to pick that up to have in my collection so I could like talk about it with you guys. So yeah, let me know if that's something you're interested in or if I should just do individual videos. I think that would get a little, little boring because some of these palettes have been out for a while. So I don't know if it's something you guys will be interested in. So I'd rather just like group them all together and get it done that way. So I would love some feedback. Let me know what you think of this look. Let me know if you've tried any of the products that I've tried today. I love chatting to you guys in my comments and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye guys.